Let's take a look at the following problem. The spinner below is spun three times in a row. If the spinner lands on a border, that spin does not count, and you spin again. It is equally likely that the spinner will land in each of the six sectors. For each question below, enter your response as a reduced fraction. First question, find the probability of spinning blue on the first spin, cyan on the second spin, and red on the third spin. This is a basic probability problem. However, there's three events that occur, and each of these events are independent of the other event. You spin, and then you spin again with the same likelihood when you spin the first time, and then you spin again. So none of them are dependent on each other. How do we go about solving a probability when we have three events back to back to back none of which depend on each other. Well, we use that multiplication principle or that multiplication idea. Namely, and let me put it into a little symbols here, to find out the probability of spinning a blue on the first spin, cyan on the second, and red on the third, we can look at that first question by doing the following. So we're gonna start by taking the probability of blue on the first spin, then we're going to multiply that times the probability of getting cyan on the second spin. And then we're going to multiply that times the probability of getting a red on the third spin. Again, they're independent of each other, and so we simply take those probabilities and multiply them together to get our result. So let's start with the probability that we get a blue on our first spin. Notice that there are two blues in our spinner. So the likelihood of getting blue is two out of, and now how many possible things are on our spinner? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six sectors. So we would say that the probability of getting a blue is two sectors out of six sectors. But now, when I go to spin again, I'm back to the original spinner. And so now I have to take the probability of getting a cyan. And how many different ways can I get cyan? Well, notice there's only one sector that has cyan in it. But again, there's six other, there's a six total sectors in that spinner. So the probability of getting cyan is one out of six. And finally, let's take a look at the probability of getting a red. Notice on our spinner, if we spin it, there's three different reds, and there are six total sectors in the whole thing. The probability of getting a blue, followed by a cyan, followed by a red, can be thought of as two-sixths times one-sixth times three-sixths, or if we multiply those all together, we would get two times three on the top, which is six, over 6 to the third on the bottom. Now, I'm going to do a little cancellation here before I put my final answer in. Notice I have 6 to the first power on top, and I have three sixes on the bottom, so I can cancel out an extra 6 from the top and the bottom. Another way to look at it, if you'd like, I have one 6 on the top, and I have three sixes that are getting multiplied together on the bottom. So I can cancel one six from the top, one six from the bottom, and that leaves me with a final probability of one out of 36. That completes part one, the probability of getting a blue followed by a cyan followed by a red is one out of 36. In the next video, we'll take a look at the second part to this problem.